Hey guys, it's Mrs. Bray, and I'm just here to let you know that this month we are celebrating Habit Sharpen the Saw, and I have someone in mind that I'm thinking does that job very well. I would like to announce that Jacob Good is our leader of the month. Jacob not only works hard on his NTI work, but he also has time and finds the time to get out and fish and play with his all of his brothers and his family. So, with that being said, I would like to congratulate Jacob Good for being our leader of the month. Love you and miss you so very much. Bye. Mrs. Estes has chosen Layla Hooper as our classroom's leader of the month. Layla is a wonderful asset to our classroom. Her habit of sharpening the saw helps her be successful every day. Layla loves playing with friends at recess and drawing at every chance. Her friends love to see her artwork and sometimes ask her to draw a picture for them too. Layla loves seeing her friends happy and agrees to draw pictures for them when she can. Layla contributes daily to our classroom's mission to be a leader and strives to be a model citizen for her classmates. We love you, Layla, and we're so proud of you. Hey, Hatcher Kids. Um, my leader of the month this month is a girl. And um, this one might come as a big surprise to a lot of people. And um, I cannot say enough positive things about this student during our NTI days. Um, and comparing this student from the beginning of the year until um, this point right now um, is a totally different student that I am so, so, so proud of. Um, so this student for the first time this year has met her AR goal. Um, so that shows me she has been sharpening her saw at home by reading. And this student has turned in every single bit of her NTI work, which also shows me that she is sharpening her saw by working her brain. And, um, I know that this student absolutely loves in her free time to um, sing and to dance. So she's sharpening her saw by doing that as well. Um, I am so, so proud to announce Kenzie Buchanan as our leader of the month. Keep it up, girl. You are doing awesome. Bye. My leader of the month is Logan LaCroix for keeping his saw sharpened while we have been out of school. I love the amazing videos and I love how well you include your family, yourself, and your school. Proud of you, Logan. Hello, BCES. This is Miss Hopper here. Wanted to announce our uh, leader of the month. A leader is one who takes care of their whole self. They have a balance with their body, mind, soul, and heart. Our leader of the month shows this balance in his daily activities. For example, he cooks for his family, even though he may not eat it. Also, he's practiced his turkey hunting skills with success. He's responsible in completing assigned tasks in a timely manner. We've enjoyed seeing the postcards from different places that he has shared with us throughout the school year. I'll miss hearing your connections that you make, Will Cooper. Will thinks about others by sending cards and letters to nursing home residents. Thank you, Will, for showing us how to be a leader no matter where we are. Hello, for my leader of the month, it could have been any of you guys. You guys have been working so hard. Um, I get pictures of people fishing. I get people pictures of people jumping on the trampoline, um, going for walks. So um, 
all of you could be leaders of the month for sharpening the saw. But this student is a girl in our classroom. She is an artist during recess. She likes to draw. And she even makes notes for people around the uh, school, which is greatly missed. She um, helps her family on the weekend. And over the break, I've got pictures of her making a bath bomb, going um, on a picnic. So my leader of the month is Ariel. Congratulations, Ariel. We miss you. I would like to congratulate Sierra Cunningham on being named this month's Leader of the Month. Sierra's done an awesome job getting all of her work done online since we've been out of school. As soon as I post a math assignment, she gets it done that day. And uh, we talk about hard work in the classroom, and Sierra's demonstrated this outside of the classroom with her schoolwork since we've been out. So I'd just like to say congratulations, Sierra. Uh, I hope you have a safe summer. hope you have a fun summer. And I'll see you again next year when you're a fourth grader. Hey guys, it's time for Leader of the Month. I would like to announce that my Leader of the Month is Fallon Lucas. Fallon has been an incredible leader in my classroom all year long. Sometimes my classroom would not run without her. She has been awesome in turning in assignments online and has been so proactive in this whole process through NTI. She's a leader at home as well, as I've talked to her parents, and they've been super excited of her leadership abilities throughout this process as well. Fallon, I miss you, I love you, and congratulations. Good morning, BCES. The Arts and Humanities teachers are here today to announce their leader of the month for habit number seven, which is sharpening the saw. One characteristic of sharpening the saw is knowing the value of taking care of your body by eating right. And here to show us how to do that is Coach Cabral and Mr. Hayes. Mm. Oh my goodness, am That's I so seeing good. what I think I'm seeing? Oh my what? gosh, what are you doing, Mr. Hayes? I'm eating some chips! What are... You can't eat chips? <laughs> Definitely can't and now. Soda? You can't, this is not sharpening the saw. No, it you isn't. I'm sorry. You're supposed to be eating right. You're I had a right moment, off. I had a moment of lapse. I'm sorry. Okay. It just so happens that I have what you need right here. We have good fruit and we have some yogurt and definitely drink water, no soda, okay? Because right. that's what sharpening mm -hmm. the saw is. Now, that's much better. I appreciate You're it. You're right. That's much better. I'm sorry. Good job, buddy. Good job. I'm sorry. All right. To sharpen the saw, you need to eat healthy and exercise. Now Coach Cabral and Mr. Hayes are going to demonstrate that. All right, keep going, keep going. I'm already tired, right, Coach. Three, I'm sweating. Three more, three more. Three, three more. more. You can do it, you can do it. Three, one, two, one. Two, was that close enough? One more, one, one more. more. Get it. All right, oh, okay. Now, get up. Right, now, now, give me five burpees. Get five up. burpees? Up, 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 up. Sharpening the saw. We are sharpening. That's two. Come I'm on. sharpening something. Get up higher. Get up higher. Oh, geez. Come on, you can do it. I can't jump. Hey, that's not a very good push. There you go. That's there. Four. One more. One more. One more. Where'd you learn to count? And done. Oh, so, by sharpening the saw, our students know that getting lots of sleep is another way to take care of their bodies. Our leaders of the month for habit number seven, sharpening the saw. From third grade, it is Miss Amaria Davis. Congratulations, Amaria. From fourth grade, it is Miss Reagan Cochran. Congratulations, Reagan. And from fifth grade, Mr. Aiden Owens. Congratulations, Aiden. All three of these students definitely sharpen the saw all the time. We love you. Take care. Stay healthy.